Hey Gemini, what's up? Welcome to your weekly reading. I hope that you guys are having a beautiful day. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. And if this reading resonates, let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box down below. And yeah, with that being said, let's get into your reading. Let's see what messages need to come through for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the week ahead. What's going on for Gemini? Any messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this upcoming week? What do they need to know or be aware of? For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have, ooh, sheesh. Okay, starting off strong. Uh, we have the tower reversed. Okay, so right now you're kind of feeling like life's in shambles or something's in shambles. You feel like something's falling apart. What's going on, Gemini? We've got to figure this out. You could be doing Scorpio. We do have Scorpio energy out here. So some of y'all is like you're going through some sort of power moment this week. Or there's going to be some sort of um, shakeup or change that kind of throws you off guard or throws you a bit off balance. What exactly? We're about to find out. But it's very... I, this might be a specific reading because the way that the cards are just staying silent... It's like you don't want to talk about this you don't want to talk about it <laughs> you're like let's just pretend like that never happened uh it's like some of y'all had like a blow up or uh, <laughs> you know had a bit of a, a breakdown or maybe a yelling fit we have the ace of pentacles so maybe this is regarding your career your money or your job some sort of like maybe some of you and i don't you know obviously don't love giving these types of messages Ooh, four of wands reverse some of you it's like sudden loss of a job or um contract or like you had a chance or an opportunity to like for work or you had some sort of off opening and then it's like someone fell back or backed out of like a plan or pulled back yeah um, or example, like, this is so random. Well, is it random? I don't know. It's not. It's my intuition. It's like, for example, like, you <laughs> just making me think of, like, you know, all these, like, TV shows where it's just, like, you know, getting married, like, The Bachelor or whatever, or Love is Blind, where it's just like, you know, okay, we're gonna get married, and everyone's on the same page. And it was like, yeah, like, we're gonna walk down the aisle, and literally, as they are giving their vows they're like i can't do this and then they like the runaway bride and like it's like they call it off like right in the moment we're like wait we were supposed to tie the knot or hey we were supposed to sign this contract or hey we we're supposed to sign this lease or hey like this was supposed to be this and you're backing out like so it's a surprise like yo gemini what's going on <laughs> let me see what else is going on for gemini i'm gonna get one more card so someone's backing out of plans. Ooh, two of cups reverse at the bottom of the deck. What is happening for you? Six of cups, five of cups, ace of swords. At least now you know. At least you see the truth. At least it's very clear. And truth hurts, man. It freaking hurts with this five of cups. Yeah, you're in the feels about this. And you have every reason to be. This is a massive disappointment. Damn, Gemini. And this is involving another person, probably related to... Again, I'm getting... We're going to have to clarify. Obviously, we will. I always do. Um, but this might be in regards to a relationship. This could also be in regards to your money. So this is like a split group, okay? You are going to have to use your discernment here. Um, yeah, this is like you're like you're trying to like look back at the past like recent past or like what did i miss how did i miss this or like what were the red flags that i wasn't aware of like where did this come from because it's just this appeared out of nowhere and so you're like looking back at the past and you're like this just doesn't make any sense it makes no sense someone just completely switched up on you completely and you might be pissed off about it and you have every reason to be pissed off about it you're sad about it too this five of cups you're very disappointed someone just completely switched up their energy on you um and it's very shocking and it's completely out of your control that's the thing with this tower reverse this is completely out of your control now i will say though some things happen in mysterious ways sometimes it's a blessing in disguise in the moment it's like the whole world is just crumbled and our our whole world is just falling apart and we're like what the fuck and this hurts and this sucks and it's painful sometimes 
it's these moments that put us back on track or redirect us to where we're supposed to be or bring us into alignment or it's supposed to teach us something like there's lots of little things that you can gain from this although in the moment right now when you're going through it it's like that's bullshit but i'm telling you <laughs> with this ace of pentacles that's come out there's an opportunity in this you may not see it at this moment but there is some sort of gain or actually not just some gain there's a lot of gain like look at how there's like one pentacle surrounded by all these other pentacles so it's like this is the opening of like many 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 doors even though it doesn't seem like it right now or doesn't look like it um you're gonna be fine you gemini you're gonna be well off but yeah four of wands reverse something's falling apart um there's a lot of instability here so this is telling me that like a foundation wasn't it wasn't built on solid ground It's like building a house on sand, right? It's not gonna, it's no matter how good you build the house, it's on sand, it's not gonna stay, it's gonna fall apart, it's not gonna, it's not gonna last. It has to be on firm ground, level ground, you know? So there's lessons you can take from this moving forwards. And I think spirit is really saying you need to just focus on yourself and focus on the things that are within your control, especially your money. Here, the Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing that there's an opportunity for a new job. Like, for example, if you did lose your job by any chance or some someone fell through with some sort of plan, it's because there's something much better coming in, something that's more in alignment with you and although it was like a false start and it left you feeling disappointed it's gonna be replaced with something even better if this is a relationship and someone just randomly switched up ghosted you broke up with you all randomly everything was beautiful picture perfect they were the love of your life and then all of a sudden the next day they go cold they no longer love you they break up whatever that's their loss and you have something better coming in. You have two aces showing up in this reading, indicating that there's some sort of new cycle that's beginning for you very soon. We have a lot of important transits going on in the astros, in the stars. And this is a time where things are going to start shifting and moving very quickly. And so there might be things that come up that throw you off track or throw you off balance or kind of shake you a little bit and it's gonna come down to you it's gonna it's gonna require you to stay grounded keep your feet firmly planted on the ground all right you're gonna need to be flexible you're gonna need to really just kind of roll with the punches as hard as it is as as heavy as it is okay you got this you you gotta hang in there now I will clarify, I do want to just jump in with my animal cards and get a little bit of advice and then we'll, we'll, we'll clarify and take this on a deeper level and see the specifics. But like Spirit, what advice do you have for Gemini? The Geminis that resonate with this, that are kind of going through it. What advice do you have for Gemini so that this can like, you know, kind of fade out easily and smoothly for Gemini? Because this is heavy. Mm -hmm. it's heavy you need to honor all your emotions that are coming up don't block it don't suppress it um it's just like it's a very eye-opening week for you so let's see advice for gemini black egg this is all about the truth the truth is out here what exactly is this truth we, we will look into that again it's kind of like ace of swords vibes tell me about um gemini what what advice do we have for gemini regarding the situation for this week ahead hmm what advice do we have for gemini that didn't come out for a reason Hold on, this deck does not it's super quiet any advice for gemini yeah, I, I mean, there might not be any other... Oh, just kidding. What do we have here? <laughs> Dolphin. Dolphin is all about blessings. So I hate to say it, but this is a blessing in disguise. Do I hate to say it? I don't know. Do I? <laughs> I'm like, ask myself, is that... Am I being honest here? Well, yeah, because it's just like... it's a, It seems like it's a crappy situation. And 
it just sucks it has to be like this because it didn't have to be but all right nothing else is coming out like do you see this normally cards be flying sometimes hits me in the face all right what's interesting though at the bottom of the deck we have the vulture which is all about cleansing purifying clearing out the old releasing things that no longer are in alignment with you it served its purpose um if it's a person if it's a job it's whatever it served its purpose if something is leaving your life and it's not in your control and you're not the one saying hey i give up hey i quit hey i want to call things off i want to break up if it's not in your control it may come as a surprise but just know that this is redirecting you to where you're supposed to be and that this is just just how things go it is what it is the mouse yeah this is completely out of your control it's completely out of your control but you need to trust in the bigger picture and that this is helping you in ways you don't even know you can't even imagine right now this is preparing you for what's to come this is a major life lesson that you're going through major growing pains that are crucial for what you have coming your way so this is like preparing you um it's gearing you up you are kind of going through these trials and tribulations because you're gearing up for something huge in the near future okay so this is really requiring you you need to let this go or you need to surrender to this as as best as you can right just try your best not to resist these changes and i don't really think you are i think you are kind of just like allowing yourself to feel what comes up here but yeah with the the black egg there's truth coming out you're getting clarity there's some conversations that are being had that are very eye-opening um you're seeing people for who they really are you're seeing people's real colors you're also seeing yourself under a different light um it just is a very eye-opening week for you especially now that mercury's gone direct as of today mercury's gone direct you're a ruler so things are going to be very interesting it's going to bring in a lot of clarity, especially in areas where you've been lacking clarity or truth or there's been a lot of confusion or fuzziness. The lines have been blurry. It's like the, the lines are about to be crystal clear. Things for you are going to be crystal clear. Now, again, Gemini, you're going to be just fine when things settle down, when the dust settles. I promise you, I guarantee that you are going to be just fine, if not even better than where you were at the beginning of this or before this before this ending even took place you are going to be a lot happier you're going to feel a lot freer there's going to be less burdens a lot less crap a lot less bullshit drama pettiness arguing you're just going to be free of a lot of that crap you're going to be a magnet of attracting positivity and blessings and love and light and good vibes that's literally this energy of the dolphin it's just like this is about attracting goodness and so some things in your life that are being stripped away people that you no longer resonate with environments jobs habits it's all being stripped away because it's not part of this bigger plan or where you're trying to go it's requiring you to shed some things now rather than doing it later on and it being more painful or more difficult so it, it's better that it's happening now than like down the line okay and so i think you can even appreciate that too it's like although it hurts and it's bringing up a lot of heavier emotions you're like at least it's happening now it's better now than like later down I, i'm glad it's happening now than like you know when i'm way more invested in this person or in this job or in this place like at least it's happening now than like you know a year from now it's like at least i'm getting it out of the way you know that's kind of like your attitude towards it i respect that but yeah let's let's clarify let's get the nitty-gritty here let's look into this tower reverse for gemini because this is a complete surprise it's like you've made plans with someone you've made plans and someone completely just like backtrack or pulled out and yeah like you had this vision about how things were going to play out and you and, and whoever you're dealing with because there's another person involved in this it's like you guys had these discussions and these conversations and you made these plans and it seemed like it was really gonna go somewhere and then suddenly it all just fell through tell me the tower reversed for gemini tell 
tell me about the tower reverse for Gemini. Okay, let's do this. Tower reverse for Gemini for this week ahead. What is this tower? We have the six of swords. Some of you, there's someone moving or someone's like, hey, I'm moving. Bye. And you're like, wait, what? Says when? Like, oh, I got an opportunity. Five of cups, two of wands. How did this tower reverse for Gemini? Three of swords. You feel just betrayed. You feel disrespected. You feel just like slapped in the face. Tell me about this tower reverse for Gemini. Damn, eight of cups. Tower, okay. Tower at the bottom. We'll just keep it at that. Tower at the bottom with the three of wands and the seven of... <sighs> Literally, this just was such a surprise. And you're, look at this three of wands. You're like, but what about the plans we made? What about the plans we made that we talked about? And now you just feel like completely just tossed aside. You have no other choice but to move on from this. But it's going to take time, right? But it's like you either stay and and mourn. Well, yeah, mourn your feelings. Like, let it out. Whatever this was, you, you got to let it out. But it's like you either just choose to hold on to this and, and focus on what you lost and just hold on of what it could have been and what it should have been and what you promised it was going to be. And, you know, just stay in this, this energy of just, like, wondering why and just, like you know harping on it and just driving yourself crazy or it's just like you choose to accept and somehow figure out how you're moving forward from this picking up the pieces and choosing to move on and that's going to take time right you're not going to just move on and forgive and forget over overnight or tomorrow you'll be back to normal right there's going to it's going to require you to adjust to this to this change um, and yeah, some of you is like unexpected moving. Like for some, it's like you have to move or some of you is like getting kicked out. Like, I don't know your situation. I'm throwing out scenarios here, right? Or suddenly like, again, like lost job or someone's moving or someone just, again, randomly just pulled out of a situation and you're confused, completely just like blindsided with this five of cups you're you're at loss it, it's a puzzle it just doesn't make any sense even if you ask for an uh, explanation they it doesn't make any sense whether they've given you an explanation it just doesn't make sense or it's just like they've said absolutely nothing and you're left with just wondering why <sighs> i'm feeling your energy gemini i'm sending you so much love your way just like oh my god i feel it in my heart i feel for you I'm sending you so much, like, just good energy. Like, take it. I take it. Take it all. <laughs> like, there's lots to go around. Um, the fuck? Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups. You just feel so blindsided and let down and just heavily disappointed. I have no other words to express this. Like, this freaking sucks. I'm sorry that you have to go through this. Let's look into this Ace of Pentacles. So what, what's the blessing in this situation? What What's the gain? There's some sort of gain from this. I don't know what it is. We're going to find out together, Gemini. What is this gain? Tell me this Ace of Pentacles. It's almost like... <laughs> okay, Spirit. It's almost like, you know, let's just say, let's just use an example. Like, you know, you are with someone you're like, they're the love of my life and we're going to spend the rest of our lives together. We're going to move in. We're going to get married or whatever. Travel the world. And then you break up. All of a sudden they switch up on you. They break up with you and you're like, what the hell? And then the next day you win the fucking lottery and you have all this money. And it's just like, oh my God, like they just broke up with me. I won the lottery. <laughs> I'm fine. Like, I'm good. Like, I don't even need them. Like, and then you hear about it. I swear, I've seen stories like this. I know what's happened in my city like a few years ago or whatever. Like someone won the lottery after they went through a breakup. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Oh my God. So, I mean, it could be something like that. It could be something like that where it's like you go through a big loss and it's just like so heart wrenching and upsetting. And then the next day or a few days later, it's like some sort of great news comes in or it's like you win tickets to go see your favorite artist or like you win tickets to go 
on a, a trip, you know, cruise trip or, you know, something like that, or free dinner, or, you know, when you won $500 off the scratch and win, um, some shit like that. So let me look into this Ace of Pentacles, because it's like, it's a blessing coming your way, Gemini. I'm manifesting it for you. May all the Geminis that resonate with this, may they have a blessing that comes in very soon. We have the four pentacles coming out. There's a God, oh, God's plan. That's what it feels like. There's a rhyme and a reason as to why this is playing out. <sighs> all right, let's see. Ace of pentacles for Gemini. What's this blessing coming out of this situation? What's the blessing behind this? Four of swords. Four, four, by the way. Four, four, four might be a number that you see during this time. We also have the Seven of Wands, some of this Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups at the bottom. I see also new relationships come. Ooh, okay. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, Two of Pentacles. You have something better coming in, 1,000%. So if you went through an ending in a relationship or someone just backed out or left you behind, it's like you literally bump into your soulmate the next day and it's just like love at first sight and... It's just like, who? Who was that that just broke my heart? I completely forgot about them. I've already moved on. Like, you're going to move on from this very fast, very quickly. And this is just bringing you in alignment to who you're supposed to be with, where you're supposed to be in your life. And it is it is a blessing in disguise, okay? Now, you may just kind of want to pull away for a little bit, withdraw your energy, which is fine. That's cool. Take your time. Um... But you are, you're backing out of something that was messy. We go from the seven of wands. Look at the seven of wands. It just feels very stressful. It feels very like scary, awkward, intimidating. Like you're just kind of lost in this forest and you don't know where to go or what direction is out. You just kind of are caught up in a mess, right? We go from the seven of wands to then the six of wands so notice how we're backtracking we're leaving behind gemini you're leaving behind something that was not in alignment with you this is a blessing in disguise this is really good i feel like there's a lot of protection around you and again even though you may not understand fully why this is happening or you may not have an explanation from this individual why they did what they did you're just going to be so thankful that this happened though okay and what was what was this ace of pentacles to eight of pentacles so i also just see that you're redirecting your focus towards your job your money your finances just focus on the bag because at least money won't break your heart <laughs> right oh it's like what's what's that what's a lot it's a what it's that the ariana song where she's like whoever said money doesn't um uh, make you happy probably didn't have enough money or what did she say she said like whoever said money doesn't solve all your problems probably didn't have enough money or i don't know like that <laughs> it's just like yeah i don't know why the fuck okay that's so random but let's move on um what's this clarity that you've gotten about this situation ace of swords you see you see shit clearly gemini so what is it that you see differently here what's this clarity that you've gotten Ace of Swords for Gemini, please. Thank you. Tell me this Ace of Swords for Gemini. What's this clarity? What's this truth that Gemini is finding out? Five of Wands. Tell me what this eight. Wow. Okay. Four of cups and seven of pentacles the world anything else we have the moon and the three of cups so you know that one day maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but you know that one day this individual, whoever you're dealing with, and then however this applies, whether it be romantic, family, friend, business related, one day they will regret this. 
and it'll be too far gone it'll be way too late for it to be fixed i think someone let their pride get in the way someone let their ego get in the way someone just you know they thought that they had it all in the bag and that like they're good they will have you know they got their own consequences and they got their own karma they got to deal with here you are very disappointed by this you probably will there's part of you that might wait around or you know part of you that's like they're gonna come back they're gonna come back and they they will they always do but it might not be as soon as you think you're probably like okay they will come back and they're gonna try and work things out but it's kind of like waiting waiting and waiting and realizing you know what I can't keep waiting on this individual anymore to explain themselves or to beg for forgiveness or, you know, that'd be doing you a disservice. So no reserving seats, Gemini. Don't be reserving seats, okay? <sighs> but yeah, you're disappointed by this, but you're having some sort of realization that you're probably better off and that your life is about to get way more peaceful and happier without this in your life because look at this five of five of wands right someone caused a lot of conflict a lot of drama a lot of chaos you know it was very unhealthy there was a very unhealthy cycle between you and whoever this was that you were involved with um it was very unpredictable here with the the moon you know even with that four of wands reverse this is indicating that this foundation or this whatever this was it wasn't built on a solid foundation remember i said it was like built on sand like building a house on sand like there's no solid solidity here right so it was definitely not stable at all and you're realizing that that's not part of your vision of what you want and what you're seeking and what you're looking for in your life that in 2023 you want something that's going to be long lasting you want something that's going to be stable and secure something that's not going to just fall apart when you turn your back and all of a sudden now you're like what the hell just happened like you want something that you know you can rely on something that you know will be consistent and will always be there right so you're realizing that this whatever this was was not that at all and that it's it's a blessing in disguise and so this clarity and this realization and just like your perspective on the situation is changing and it's allowing you to just be like okay you know what i make peace and i'm gonna let this go because i know that there's something better in alignment with me that's coming into my life and this is just clearing out and making space for things that are actually gonna be amazing so you know redirection blessing in disguise god's protection type shit You've heard that saying probably many times. I know I've said it many times. <laughs> but yeah, Gemini. And also with the moon to the three of cups, what you don't see coming, there's lots of exciting times coming your way. Lots of celebration, lots to enjoy, lots to appreciate. There's going to be lots of fun moments coming up. Lots of times that you're going to be creating amazing memories um, that are going to stay with you for the rest of your life. So this is what's coming your way that you don't see coming yet. You have exciting times there's going to be good news you're going to be celebrating something and you're before you know it you're you're going to be over this situation it's going to be in your past you're not even going to think about it okay so hang in there be kind to yourself it's their loss it's their loss and you know what this is giving similar vibes that i did in libra's reading like last last week it's their loss if you got any Libra placements or if you're dealing with a Libra, that reading might resonate with you. Even if you don't have any Libra placements and this reading resonates, you might want to listen to Libra's reading because the similar vibes, I don't really remember it because again, I did it last week, but the title was like, it's their loss. So it's like, yeah, like it's literally, what do you have to lose? Stress, drama, instability, unpredictability. It's, this is a blessing for you okay i'm gonna let you guys go thank you for watching if you'd like to book a private reading with me information is in the description take care gemini and i'll talk to you in the next one bye